Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you live on a Thursday with 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Football Full Caser 12 box. Pick your team number five from uh, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into it. On the 27th, pick your team number five. Michael Gallucci, last spot, double last spot mojo, Bills and Panthers. Got a lot of other teams in here too. Thanks everybody for getting in. Really appreciate it. This is also a uh, St. Nick break. You can see that we have four uh, four boxes left. So at the end of the break, I'll randomize everybody's names. Name on top. We'll uh, we'll get a random Christmas post Christmas gift from Jaspies. Will be a retail box or a or a hobby box inside or both. Multiple boxes could be in there too. Obviously, there's only a few breaks left with this, with that St. Nick designation. So let's fill up those breaks tonight. In fact, we should. That's what we should do tonight. That that should be our, our our goal for tonight. Is to knock out those St. Nick breaks. And we can give away those final three boxes. And I guess we'll take down the Christmas tree. So we can't take down the Christmas tree until then. <laughs> until then. We were talking about this last night, folks. When do you take down a Christmas tree? 6th of January? That's, that feels arbitrary. Is that not? Okay. Yeah, this is Pick Your Team 5, Landon. Nothing, Pick Your Team 6 is not sold out yet. Lou, Lou took it down yesterday. Right, right on Boxing Day. Mark says took took his down today. I feel like at least January. Um yes, you do, Landon. It has been a while. You can also check everybody, you can also double check your orders on your account page as well. You should have an order history in there too. But yes, you do have the Vikings in this one, Landon. And it's only the first box just in time. Joe P says, should stay up until after the new year. That's what I think too. All right, so there's the schedule right there. Nothing filled up at the moment. And around 5 o'clock Pacific, maybe shortly, or around, around there, around 5 o'clock Pacific, we should be ready for the next break. So go to jazbeescasebreaks.com and get things going. Someone let Yo Josh know that the evening is wide open, so he can join whatever break he, he would like on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We can do more of this. We've got another full caser down to five teams. Bowman's best, almost in single digits. Draft has been moving. Contenders basketball is moving. So we got a lot going on, folks. All right. Box number one. Good luck, everybody. And we'll start off with a Panther. DJ Moore. That's a catch. And that goes to Michael Gallucci, one of his last spot mojo teams. 47 out of 50 on that one, Steel Curtain. We'll kind of breeze through these. And we'll set aside parallels as well, like that Luke Falk, the 149. Oh, there you go. That's exactly... <laughs> Rusty also says January 6th to take down the Christmas tree on Three Kings Day. There you go. There's Von Miller out of 25. Velocity. That's for the Broncos. Steve Freeze with that one. There's Robbie Anderson to 149. He's been having a pretty good season. Devontae Boyd out of 199. Um, a hitless break would have the status of unfulfilled. Yes. 
because they'll be we won't be shipping anything from that break so it won't trigger a shipping notification there's Deontay Burnett out of 299 Blake Bortles out of 299 Oh yeah, that contenders break was one of the best possible ones we can do as our first break. Because that really kind of gets the people going. Got, I got more pictures from that break too that I'm going to post later on to get that contenders basketball moving, which just uh, was just dropped yesterday. I'm sure we'll do another case or two tonight. Maybe a random team break too. We got random teams available as well on jazbeescasebreaks.com. A chance to get one of the bigger basketball teams for a fraction of the price. And we've got this. Another full caser of this down to uh, almost, or in single digits, I think. I think next, next pick your team is already in single digits. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, no, Lou. A tree took out the power line across the road. All right, man. Well, yeah, hopefully when you check back in next, we'll have some, uh, we'll have some nice hits for you. What team do you have here? I think you got the Texans, right? Anything else? Only C for Texans. Ja is this going to be Jaspies by Candlelight, Lou? When are they going to fix that? Uh, Nelson Cruz agrees to a deal with the Minnesota Twins, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting. We heard rumors about that yesterday. It looks like it's going to happen. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Oh, it's by Fire Truck Light. Jaspies by Fire Truck Light. C Free says next optic football, next full case optic football on jazbeescasebreaks.com is down to five. I feel like we should be able to do another full caser tonight. And then the one after that is down to eleven. That's in single digits. Could be could be that tonight. As well, if everybody's in a football mood. All right, box number two. Good luck, everybody. Redemption. Any guesses on that redemption, ladies and gentlemen, for bragging rights, for sorcery bragging rights? There's Leighton Vandresh to 199. Possible defensive rookie of the year. Rick Barker needs a, uh, a, needs a Baker Mayfield. He's, like, he's hoping like 30 boxes. He has to hit a Baker auto. Maybe this will be the one. There's Melvin Gordon at a 299. JJ Watt for the Texans at a 149. Landon guessing a Kike Kuti autograph. C Freeze guessing a big chub. Bradley Chubb, that is. Rick Barker guessing a Baker Mayfield, which would make Rick Barker very happy. John Raposo guessing a Saquon Barkley. Mark's guessing a Rashad Penny. All of those solid guesses. There's Cedric Wilson to 99. I think they are all redemptions. There's Mariota who practiced today. He's going to be playing this weekend perhaps, maybe. Hobbled? Who knows? Marvin Jones Jr., orange for the Lions. There's a Mari Cooper Raiders edition refractor. Your redemption is going to be, good luck, bam, oh, Michael Gallup. We were all wrong. Rated rookie autographs. Hollow for the Cowboys. Randall with that one. There you go. Dallas Cowboys with that one. Reggie's wondering who I have in that game. Colts or Titans? I am definitely leaning Colts. That, that may be one of my official plays this weekend. Colts minus three. I think Colts will have T.Y. Hilton back. Andrew Luck playing well. Mariota kind of banged up. 
right? Maybe an elbow issue or something like that. Colts have a good defense. They they could neutralize. Well, they neutralized Saquon Barkley last week, I'm pretty sure, I think. And uh, so that means I feel like they've got a good, uh, good enough front and linebacking core that could maybe neutralize Derrick Henry, forcing a hobbled Marcus Mariota to throw more often, which may not be a good thing. Well, I know Reggie is a Colts fan. Reggie, what, what do you think? What is, what is your feeling on the game? Maybe EA is a Titans guy. Maybe we'll get some some thoughts from the other side. What does everyone think about that? That's a, that's a huge game this weekend. That's your Sunday night game, ladies and gentlemen. Titans hosting the Colts. Uh, basically, win and in. Whatever team wins, they're, they're, they're in the playoffs. Who does everyone else have? In that matchup, Sunday night matchup. That's a marquee matchup. Indeed, John, they did flex it. Yeah, Sunday night. Darius Leonard could be a great candidate for Defensive Rookie of the Year as well. Reggie says, honestly, I think Colts are going to win. He's, he, take that with a grain of salt, folks. He is a Colts fan. Obviously, by 17 points, he says. There's Traquan Smith for the Saints. Nice on-card auto for Karen and the Saints. Seafreeze also thinks the Colts win and then make some noise in the postseason. Well, seeing Andrew Luck in the playoffs is definitely, it's definitely good for football. Definitely good for the hobby. There's Ray Ray McLeod at a two ninety nine. Dalvin Cook at a two ninety nine. Cameron Wake. 99. AJ Green. Refractor. Matt Stafford. That's number to 50. 31 out of 50 for the Lions. That'll go to Michael Gallucci. Cat Team Mojo. And an Anthony Miller. Downtown card. Nice. From downtown. There's Justin Watson to 50. What about that Bears uh, Vikings game? Bears are going to Minnesota. Now, Bears have a playoff spot, obviously. But they could, I think they could get a win with a win, a first round bye, right? But then Minnesota also motivated because I think if they win, they've got a great shot at the playoffs, right? I think if they win, they're in, they, they might be in. Maybe they, they, need a, they need some help, maybe. Maybe Eagles have to lose or something like that. It's a little convoluted, but... I mean, basically, they need a win. Who does everyone have in that game? That'll be a afternoon, a late game, I think. 110 out of 199. There's Derek Carr, Raiders. Adam Thielen and Mark Andrews. Now, from a pick perspective, for entertainment purposes only, ladies and gentlemen, um, week seventeen all, all we, always difficult. So if you're if you're if you're in some sort of if you're still in some sort of survivor pool this late in the season, which that would make it a pretty good survivor pool. If you're in some sort of survivor pool, or if your fantasy football league happens to have a week seventeen playoff situation or something like that. Um, wh whatever you may be doing, whether drafting daily fantasy or or actual wagering or whatever the case may be, um, week seventeen always difficult to really predict what's going to happen. Okay, motivation is a question. What teams are motivated? What teams aren't? The teams that are not in the playoff hunt are they going to be motivated or not? So, 
So we'll see. Patrick Goodwin saying that the Titans will beat the Colts 29-17. Patrick, what happens if they don't? You gotta buy a spot in one of our breaks. <laughs> okay. There is uh, the RPAs right there. Chiefs Raiders game? I mean, it's gotta be Chiefs. I think the Raiders are on the road, so they, you know, they already had their big last game hurrah. I think a lot of the, um, the emotion of that game, uh, the emotion they have for the end of the season, I think, is pretty much in that uh, Denver win in Oakland. They're possibly their last home game in Oakland forever. And now they're going, you know, so, you know, they're probably pretty emotional game. And now they're flying to Kansas City for the last game of the season. They're probably planning golf trips. They're <laughs> probably planning winter vacations in tropical locations. And meanwhile, Kansas City definitely has, you know, something to play for. They want to get on track. We going into the playoffs, so they're going to win outright for sure. Oh, there's a hot take from Patrick. I got the Chiefs for Sunday against the Raiders. I don't think it's earth earth shattering. I think they are. Now the question is though. I think the the Chiefs are laying a lot of points. They'll probably cover too. I think I think they're laying like 14 points. They'll they'll probably win by a few touchdowns. Out of 299, Dion Lewis. There's Jabril Peppers out of 99 for the Browns. There's Return of the Mac Marlin Mac. And your RPA behind the RPA is Kid Reporter card. There's Christian McCaffrey, and behind Landon Collins is a Steeler. That's a nice patch. There's Jalen Samuels for Michael Gallucci. Sealed curtain and a Steeler. Six out of 35. Patrick also, like just like Reggie, also has the Colts. Oh, no, he has Chiefs Saints in the Super Bowl. Reggie has his Colts and Saints in a rematch of Super Bowl XLIV. All right, next box. Well, it's going to be crazy, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's going to be a fun finish to the regular season. It should be a good playoffs, too. I mean, Patriots haven't looked good, but somehow they're 10-5 they're and five right now. But they haven't looked super sharp. Brady hasn't looked sharp. Gronk doesn't look like himself. You know, Josh Gordon never going to play football again. He's done. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see how the Patriots do in the playoffs. I think the Patriots are going to end up letting down uh, their fans in this postseason. We'll see how that works out. If the Ravens if the Ravens make it, that could be an exciting one. You know, you got the got the Texans can make some noise. Colts can definitely make some noise if they get in. Chargers and Chiefs. Chargers are a little exposed by the Ravens, but but you know maybe that'll get some teams to underestimate the Chargers. Chiefs are going to be strong. So AFC is going to be going to be a tough one. In the NFC, I don't know. Don't really feel good about the Cowboys advancing too far, right? I think they're certainly better than than how they started the season. They certainly have been playing well, but 
We'll see how that works out. Bears, that defense is legit. And they can do just enough on offense. They've got some playmakers on the offense just to just to get in there. Maybe make a deep run into the to the playoffs. Saints also strong. Defense also improving. And of course, Rams. Rams are gonna be strong. And I think the Seahawks. Maybe a sneaky sneaky uh can make a sneaky deep run into the playoffs. Is that a one ninety nine? David Williams. Rick Barker says Dak needs to go. Wish Romo had come back for a few more. And Tony Romo, that once that once that back was a major issue, then that's that. So which was the fear with you know, look at what Ty, having to Tiger Woods, back issues, not himself for a long time. Clayton Kershaw has been dealing with back issues for a little while. Larry Bird infamously had back issues. Those back issues are scary. But here's the thing, Rick. It's going to look like there's Deion Kane. Dak Prescott's probably going to get extended. You know? He has... Nine, ten wins on the year. He's probably gonna get extended. He's gonna he's gonna get paid. There's Mike Kosicki to fifty. There's Jared Goff, black velocity, twenty one out of twenty five for the Rams. That's a nice one for CJC collecting. Yeah, Bears are I think are definitely a sneaky pick. There's the auto. Malik Jefferson autograph. Bengals. That'll be for Andrew Herman. And there's Marcel Aitman. Landon saying, think the Bears get a first round bye. They've got a good shot. I think they do too. With that with that defense. And Seahawks, Russell Wilson, always dangerous. You know, so you never know what's going to happen there. Right, Rick Barker. Dak Prescott, just good enough. He's Rick's like saying, Dak's just good enough to keep us out of the Super Bowl for years. But tantalizingly close. I mean, it's the, uh, Rick, I think it's the, it's, the Blake Bortles situation, you know, Blake Bortles had a pretty strong season last year, and the Jaguars were almost cornered into giving that guy an extension. Now he's got an extension, and now look at this season, you know. So I think that's going to kind of hamstring the Jaguars for a little while. Could be the same deal with Dak Prescott, but it's kind of difficult to say. Like, who who do you? Who else do you? Who else do you get? I think if you stick with Dak Prescott, you would kind of have to go the defense route, you know, because Dak Prescott's pretty solid. But Super Bowl solid? I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. But I think you know, if you can keep Sean Lee healthy and kind of keep building that defense up, that might be where. Where the, where the Cowboys can find some success. That might be the formula right there. That's what we were talking about yesterday, Rick. Yeah, Bortles is a wreck. They'll get flack. They'll go get Flacco. Watch. Yeah, that's what we were discussing yesterday. We were just like, like, where does Flacco go? And it's like, well, that, that great landing spot has got to be. It's got to be the Jaguars. Another downtown card, Calvin Ridley downtown. Nice. That goes to Josh Pruce and the Falcons. I think those inserts are still selling pretty well on a secondary market. And they just look cool, too. I would want to try to build this set. Right. These would display nicely, too. There you go. There's Anthony Miller for the Bears out of 149. Odell Beckham Jr. out of 299. 
Carlos Hyde at a 99. Landon confirming that that Ridley goes does well on the bay. And there's Joe Flacco. We were just talking about him. There he is. 11 out of 50 on that Flacco. That'll still be for the Ravens, of course. Joe Hauer with that one. Devontae Parker at a 299. And wow, that's a Saquon Barkley autograph. Rated rookie auto for the New York Football Giants. Thomas F. with that one. Nice. 51 out of 99. Is this your uh, is this your offensive rookie of the year? I think so. Maybe Baker Mayfield, Saquon Barkley, one of those guys. Probably Baker Mayfield. But Saquon's definitely in the conversation. All right, we are halfway through this full case break. We've got more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So check it out. We'll be done with this break in about another 25, 30 minutes or so. So keep your eyes on jazbeescasebreaks.com because there'll be more that we can do. There's a schedule right there. We should be ready for the next break around 5, 5.15 LA time if you're watching live. jazbeescasebreaks.com. I don't think anything is filled up after that. I don't think anything's filled up after that, right? No, we've got a few, we've got a handful of orders coming in here, but I don't know if anything's filled up. So, see ya. So, we've got some orders in here. Thanks to Kevin, Brent, Lou, John, Chad, Karen. For getting your orders in. And we'll see what we can kind of work on after this. We've got brand new contenders basketball that we can do. We've got plenty of baseball on the website. We've got a all spots sold promo happening tonight. So check the, out the details there on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Read all the details. See what you can win. Another full case break of optic football also at uh, also pretty low as well. Like five teams left, four or five teams left. We can run this back right away. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Lawrence Taylor. Tom Brady. 299. There's Traquan Smith to 199. Troy Fumagalli. 299. There's Michael Thomas to 299. Mohamed Sanu to 99. Alex Smith and Jamon Moore, 16 out of 125. Is your on card autograph for the Packers? Mike Coster with the Go Pack Go. Let's 
Let's see if we can find some lower numbered parallels here before we move on to the next box. Justin Watson at a 99 for the Bucks. All right, next box. Um, no, Steve, we, we have not hit any, hit any other uh, super fractors aside from that Randy Moss, maybe in the first or second case that we did of this optic football. It does seem like it, Rick. Rick's like Jermon Moore and Traquan Smith must have signed more cards than anybody. I think so. Yeah. Every year, there's always you can we can always figure out which uh, which few guys end up sen signing like a million cards. There'll be that one rookie that's like hot, but you can never find him in any product. Jose, what's going on? Jose Zapata in the house. What's going on, man? folks next box good luck maybe we'll find another super fractor in here there's a nice downtown saquon barkley is that the second one no or did we pull one yesterday and we got anthony maybe it was maybe it was yesterday but nice so now the new york football giants thomas has the saquon barkley autograph and now the saquon barkley downtown insert nice Jose missing a lot of breaks because too much gift buying. That's all good. All good. I'm sure that goes for everybody, myself included. Everyone's been spending money on gifts. But treat yourself, Jose. Treat yourself on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Everybody, treat yourself. This holiday season, everyone, you're, it's good to think about others. But now that the dust has settled on the Christmas season, treat yourself. Especially on jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's Cortland Sutton out of 50. <laughs> Thanks, Jose. That was our Super Bowl. Raiders, Raiders Broncos. Shaquem Griffin out of 299. Michael Thomas out of 199. Odell Beckham Jr. to 149. And your autograph is for the Seahawks. That's Alex McGuff. One out of 10. Nice low number. Nice, no, like, nice low number on that one. Mark Matheson with the Seahawks. Although, I don't think he's going to be taking over Russell Wilson's job anytime soon. But, I mean, if that guy. You know, maybe he does well in like a priest. Maybe he gets traded. I don't know. Maybe he's an asset. All right. Next box, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as you know, for entertainment purposes only, we we do like to uh, do like do like to take a position and financially invest in the in the success of certain franchises, right? Stock market. I had some win total action, some win total investments that I placed at the uh, before the regular season started. I'm sure most of you are here for that. We've been keeping track of it throughout the season. Um, did not get Jets over six wins. Thought they were going to. They were close. Definitely my, my biggest play 
was Cleveland over five and a half wins. I I was even boasting eight wins. I, um, I could. I mean, we'll see what happens there, but but I definitely won that. I had them over five and a half. I had uh, the Colts over six and a half wins. I thought that was probably the easiest win total wager investment. We should call it an investment. That was easy. Six over six and a half. I could still get Denver under seven wins. I think, right? Yeah, they're six and nine. I could still get them under seven wins. So crossing my fingers for another Broncos loss. Got Giants under seven wins. A lot of people are on the over with the Giants. I wasn't feeling it. Bears over six and a half wins. I thought that was relatively easy as well. Bears over six and a half. Got that. I picked a... I would have... I think just for fun, I, I kind of picked a team from every division. I would have passed on the NFC South in general, but I think the best value play was Saints under nine and a half. I thought that division was going to be a lot more... a lot more tough. You know, a lot tougher. I thought the... I thought the uh, Panthers were going to be a lot tougher, but, you know, Cam Newton was probably carrying an injury for for more games than we think. Falcons weren't as good. Buccaneers weren't as good as I thought they were. So I thought the Saints would win, like, nine games. Still make the playoffs, you know, but that didn't quite work out. There's Carlos Hyde to 199. And then... My last investment was in the Seattle Seahawks over eight wins, which I got. And there's Nick Chubb. Nice Chubb for uh, Rick Barker and the Browns. Just got to find him a, a baker now. But nice Nick Chubb. 64 out of 75 on that one. He had a nice season. So that's what I thought. I was just like, you got Nick Chubb, you got Denzel Ward, you got Baker Mayfield. You know, and they had some other good pieces too on that Browns team even before those guys. I, th I thought over five and a half wins for the Browns is easy. Almost got eight. I didn't play eight though. I did not make an investment on that. Out of 299, Ben Roethlisberger. Mr. Mike's Daddy, what's going on? Jose saying we could Denver could beat the Chargers. They could. I think Chargers may be resting some guys, right? Out of 149. Unless they want to try to win the division. There's Jordan Lasley. The cut on that's kind of weird. Jordan Lasley out of 50 for Joe Hauer and his Ravens. And that's that. Three boxes to go. This is Pick Your Team 5 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Next one. Good luck, everybody. C Free says, I don't see them resting unless they're watching the scoreboard for the Chiefs game. Right. There may be a lot of. Uh, this might be an interesting week if, if someone, if people want to take a position on a team, a financial position on a team uh, in the second half. That could be interesting. If you're keeping an eye on the scoreboard, you may be able to find some second half bets. Some, some teams may see, maybe may scoreboard watching at halftime may, may choose to rest some key players. There could be some interesting second half action too. Landon's asking Joe, if you buy a gift card from jazbeescasebreaks.com and say it's $40, and then you spend $50 on a break, can the difference be covered? Uh, or does the order have to be under the $40? No, it works just like any gift card around the world. So if you spend $50, there'll be a balance of $10, um, and you'd have to pay the, pay the $10 with whatever payment method you'd like. So yeah, it just works like it just works like a regular gift card that you would get. Uh, Mr. Mike, that great question for this football break. 
Mr. Mike Daddy saying, did you take a peek at the new stadium while I was in Vegas visiting my sister for Christmas? I did, and it is progressing nicely. I should post some pictures on our Twitter. I have it on my I have them on my phone. But they've got they've got a big hole dug in the ground. And you can see the, the concrete foundations in there and everything, and they've got some of the bowl structure that's there. So some of the outside structure there's there. Just huge huge cranes just pointing into the sky and everything. So it look it looks really cool. So initially I thought I was hoping that it wasn't just going to be a hole in the ground. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't really make for good good photography. But there's actually some some stuff there, so I'll try to post some pictures on our Twitter at Jaspie's Breaks. There's Mason Rudolph, the Red Nose Reindeer, forty nine out of eighty five. Nice. That'll go to Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. Weird season for the Steelers. I don't know. Wonder if you think Lev, that Le'Veon Bell situation was a bigger distraction than it led on? Maybe. Yeah, I will. I will. I'll try to post those at some point tonight. But yeah, it's progressing nicely. It looks great. Um, it's in a great spot. We were we were talking we were uh, talking about Jaspie Fest yesterday in Vegas. Maybe in a couple years. We'll have a trade night. We'll do some live group breaks, I think. And uh, so it's close to it's close to Mandalay. It's right across the freeway from Mandalay Bay. Forty five and a ninety nine Denzel Ward. So people can stay there. There's there's plenty of options in that that area of Vegas. But um, it's Carson Wentz, Drew Brees. 149. So, a lot of great hotels. Palms is near there, Orleans, Rio. You guys can stay at South Point if you want to as well. But, a lot of great places for, for everyone's budget. So, we can have a nice little nice little jazz beef that's close to the airport. Right across the street from, uh, from Crazy Horse 3, <laughs> if you're into that sort of thing. All right, we got two boxes to go. Actually, running out of room here. All right, good luck, everybody. We've kicked around that idea. We, Nick and I have kicked around the idea of, of of breaking in Vegas, maybe opening up a satellite, a Jaspi satellite store in Las Vegas. I think Nick and I would both get in. Get in trouble, though. What's up, John Oakray? Rick Barker, no. No Baker Mayfield, but we still have two boxes left, two autos. But we did hit a Nick Chubb, though. Jose saying, I'm sorry, but it just sounds weird. Las Vegas Raiders, after them being in L.A. and Oakland. Yeah, um... It does... Yeah, I... I Las Vegas Raiders. They'll, they'll probably just call them Vegas Raiders, I think. That rolls off the tongue a little bit better. But um, I have to say that there, someone had asked what the reception for the Raiders is going to be like in Las Vegas. I'll tell you, I was uh, went shopping at a couple different malls, was at a, at a couple different sports books hanging around and whatnot, and just in general, a lot of um, a lot of Raiders gear that's being uh, sported around. A lot of people re wearing Raiders hats, Raider t-shirts, Raider jerseys. So, and a lot of, lot of, lot of the sports shops and uh, souvenir shops carrying Raiders t-shirts and Raiders gear and Raiders hats and whatnot. So I think everybody's ready. Looks like everyone's ready. I don't know where the Raiders are going to play next year. Their lease is out. They may play in, in Candlestick, Candlestick Park <laughs> at whatever that stadium is where the Giants play. It's Candlestick to me. I don't know why I said Candlestick. It hasn't been Candlestick in, since I was like a baby. Um, there's Ian Thomas. 
out of 99. There's AJ Green to 299. Jaden saying, didn't we talk about having an adult establishment in the new stadium way back? Well, they don't have to. Crazy Horse 3 is right across the street. There's Mike Evans to 99. I think maybe, maybe the Raiders should have some operatives luring road teams there. That'll be good for the uh, maybe the, maybe win uh, point totals if you're into that sort of, if you're investing in point totals. Jay Matz, what's going on? Happy holidays to you too. Matthew Berry really a broadcast? I guess that I guess that makes sense. From downtown, Josh Rosen. There's David Johnson. Out of one ninety nine. They're going to play another baseball stadium? Yeah, well, the Coliseum's not really a baseball stadium, though. It's a municipal stadium for multi-purpose use. There's Avante Maddox, but yeah, there's a chance they could play another baseball stadium. There's been some talk about the Raiders spending 2019 in possibly San Diego. You know, or they may just renew their lease with the Coliseum. This is a nice one for Jared and the Cardinals. Or they may play at uh, at the I think there's a, a UNL wherever, wherever UNLV plays their football games, which I heard is not a stadium that is well equipped for for NFL standards, but that could be a possibility as well. And the stadium won't won't open until until uh, 2020. Okay, so Alan, Alan Murdoch was saying earlier that the autograph jersey break is down to three. Jaden is now reporting that it's down to two, boys and girls. So that might be their next break to go. And, yes, there is another full case break of Donner's Optic Football. Picker team number six. This is picker team number five. Picker team number six is already down to five. So just a handful of teams away from running this one back. We've got 12 orders coming in, so I'll go through orders once I'm done with this, uh, with this break. Remember, there, uh, there is a All Spots Sold promo going on, so be sure to look at the details and read up on it and see what you can win on jazbeescasebreaks.com and join the breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's our last box, last autograph coming up. Solid break so far, a lot of nice downtown cards, the Saquon Barkley autograph, et cetera, et cetera. So I'd be happy to run this Donruss uh, optic football back, some solid stuff. Good luck, boys and girls. Thank you, thank you for getting in. Joe Flacco to 299. This is a nice way to start the day. It's our first break of the day. And we've got the rest of the evening ahead of us, so buy early, buy often. Just like Chicago voters. Vote early, vote often was the phrase back in the day. Terrell Suggs out of 149. Derek Carr Refractor, Illusions Insert, Kurt Benkert for the Dirty Birds out of 199. There's poor Alex Smith to 199. There's our last autograph right there. There's Alex McGuff. Saw his autograph a little bit earlier. And we've got the last auto is Tanner Lee. Jaguars. 
That goes to Lindsay. Lindsay on the board with the Jags. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. St. Nick randomizer coming up, boys and girls. So even if you didn't hit, you'll have a chance at maybe winning one of those boxes back there. Get a box of cards out of this for your troubles. break especially with with those two hits there the Josh Rosen downtown was nice too all right now let's go to random.org right, let's first first of all let's go to the the paperwork here from Jared down to Michael Gallucci everyone has a shot at one of those gifts I think we only have yeah you know, these four boxes left right here box four five thirteen fourteen four five thirteen fourteen excellent one dice roll for both lists. It's going to be seven, five and a two. Lucky seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Winner is Merry Christmas to Arthur Hackett. There you go. Hackett with a box right there. Happy Christmas, happy holidays, all that sort of stuff. Arthur, thanks for getting in. Seven times for the remaining boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. It'll be box 14. Good luck. And looks like the jerseys sold out, says Steve Freeze. So we'll be we'll be doing that next. There it is, fourteen. Good luck, Arthur. There you go. going to be nice some football it is a box of Donner's football right there there you go nice very cool 2018 edition of course so there you go you can still get some of the uh, some of the top rookies from this draft class ladies and gentlemen we only have three St. Nick boxes left so get into any break that says St. Nick in the title on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We should finish that off tonight. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com.